Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to replace the LCD on your iPhone 7. Okay, and it's going to be uh, similar for the iPhone 7 Plus as well. Alright, this is a brand new phone. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and take the plastic off. Alright, now similar to the previous iPhone models. Um, to open this one up, the first thing we are going to have to do is uh, we're going to remove the two uh, bottom screws down here, whether, which are uh, pentalope screws, which mean they are five, um, point, 5 point star screws. You can't really see it on the screwdriver because it's so tiny. Um, but yeah, that's the first thing we're going to do. So let's go ahead and remove the two screws on the bottom. Let's put, put them uh, somewhere so we don't lose them. All right. Okay, so after we remove the two bottom screws, uh, the next step, similar to the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus, is we are going to have to give it uh, some heat on the screen here. We're going to have to uh, give it heat with a hair dryer or heat gun, or we can put it on a hot plate. Um, so it's about 100 degrees um, so that we can... Uh, lift it up easier because it is held down with adhesive uh, around all the sides. Alright, so uh, I'm going to give it some heat real quick and then I'll keep recording when it's done. Okay, so once the screen is hot enough, what we're going to do is we're going to get a thin prying tool. I like to use these I sesame tools. Alright, we're going to get a thin prying tool and we're going to wedge it in carefully towards the bottom here in between the metal part and the plastic so just stick it in there a little bit and then lift up on it okay so that the prying tool is in there okay once it's in there we're gonna go around carefully okay remember it is held down with adhesive so you don't want to uh, you don't want to pry it up too hard because you might break the um, the all the glass and obviously if your screen's broken, then you don't have to be this careful with your screen. So we're going to go around the entire screen. And as you can see, it is lifting up. Little by little. Okay, once you're about down here, let's remove it. Okay, hold it with your finger and let's place it back over here. Okay, and let's go down the other side carefully don't wedge it in don't wedge it in here too much because it does have the home button flex cables here so you want to be careful you just want to wedge in the open prying tool just a little bit in and slowly go around it okay Okay, now the next step, unlike the old iPhones, where you would just be able to lift up the screen, this one, what you actually have to do is you have to pull the screen um, like down. You're going to pull it down a little bit to where you see that it separates up here. Okay, and then once, it's, once you pull it down enough, then you're going to go ahead and open it like this okay so uh, the iPhone 7 and 7 plus unlike the old iPhones it opens up to the side instead of from the bottom towards the top okay now here is the next part um, for the iPhone 7 and 7 plus you're gonna need a special screwdriver it's a uh, it's called the try screwdriver or Y because it has three sides, three points. All right, and we're gonna need the screwdriver to remove uh, most of the screws that are holding on the brackets for the battery, for the uh, home button, digitizer, LCD, and the top um, ear speaker and front camera assembly. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, remove these screw screws.
so once you have those screws removed we can lift up on this bracket all right let's go ahead and remove the screws holding on the uh, bracket up here that holds down the upper flex cables okay and these two screws are um, with a Phillips head screwdriver so they actually have uh, Phillips head screws once again okay let's remove this bracket up here All right, once you have that out of the way, we can go ahead and disconnect this upper flex cable up here. And we can go ahead and disconnect the bottom cables down here. Okay, so as you can see, it has three cables for the screen assembly. It has this one up here, which is for the ear speaker. And front facing camera and it has these two down here which are for the LCD and home button assembly Oh, the iPhone 7 does have a giant um, ear speaker compared to the previous uh, iPhone models. Much bigger ear speaker. Okay, so next thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to gently uh, hold back on this cable right here with the front camera. And we're going to pry up. We're going to pry up on the cables down here which hold the proximity sensor alright then we're gonna have to gently uh, pry up on the cable down here which is the connector for the ear speaker Okay, and then that comes right out. Okay, so the next step is we're going to have to remove um, all of the screws that are holding on the frame. It's going to have three screws. So once um, those screws are removed, holding the sides of the uh, bracket, the frame, we're going to go ahead and remove uh, the bottom screws holding down the home button. All right, and with that, here we see the home button connector. We're gonna have to gently pry up on it, and it disconnects. Okay, so once you have um, all of the screws removed, the three on each side that are holding down the bracket and the four bottom screws down here holding the home button, um, we can go ahead and lift up up here, lift up on this metal bracket, Okay, and then we're going to have to give it some pressure here and hold down uh, these flex cables, which are for the home button and LCD. 
Okay, and you're going to see that it is going to be a little bit glued here. So we're going to have to uh, stick the prying tool down here in between the cables so that we can separate them. Separate the LCD cable and the home button cable from the metal bracket. Okay, and then... Uh, Alright, so yeah, after that, uh, you remove this metal bracket. Comes right out. Let's put it to the side. And we're gonna... Uh, Alright, and if we need to uh, replace the home button... We're just going to lift up here. We're going to gently uh, lift up on the home button flex cable down here. As it is held down with adhesive, we have to be careful that we don't pull it. And the home button, um, this one you actually have to push it in and it will go in through here and come out towards the bottom. So once you're ready, um, you're going to get your new screen, which your new screen is going to look just like this. Okay, should come like this. Alright, we're going to go ahead and place the home button in first. So let's stick it in through here. Once again. Okay. Let's place the flex cables back over here. Let's lift up the connector and move it out of the way. All right, and then we're gonna kind of go ahead and connect the home button. There you go, it's connected. Once the home button's connected, we can go ahead and place the back uh, frame back on. We're just gonna place it on just like this, just how it was. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and place all of these screws back in that are holding on this back frame. Alright, so once we have all of those screws on, let's go ahead and place uh, this bottom bracket here for the home button. Once we have that ready, let's go ahead and place the uh, top piece back on. All right, let's go ahead and place. Go ahead and place it correctly up here in the little holes. Make sure, make sure it falls in correctly where it was. Okay, give it a little bit of pressure so that it will stick to the screen. Okay, and then once you feel it's uh, it's on there correctly, let's go ahead and place the ear speaker back on. Okay, and the ear speaker will go the metal, the little prongs connectors on the bottom so they can connect down here. All right, so it's gonna go like this. Okay. So first off, we're gonna place the two screws um, down here for the, the hold on the bottom of the ear speaker.
right, so once all of these screws are back in, okay, we can go ahead and uh, connect the flex cables back on the motherboard. Okay, let's connect this one over here first. Make sure it connected properly. Okay. Alright, and then we're going to go ahead and connect the other flex cables down here. Alright, let's go ahead and place the brackets back on. All right, let's go ahead and get the bottom bracket down here. Put it in its place. And let's, let's uh, put in all these screws. So once you have all of the screws back in, uh, placed back in the bracket, you're ready. We're ready to close up the uh, phone. So let's let it fall on this side. Okay. And then remember, next thing we're gonna have to do is uh, we're gonna have to let it the clips on the top fall in. Push it up a little bit. All right. Make sure it looks like it's sealed correctly. And then we can go ahead and give it the pressure around the sides so that the screen can close. All right looks good all right so let's go ahead and place the two bottom screws back in all right let's test the test the new battery turn the phone on all right so yep this video was to help you how to replace your iphone 7 battery um, I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.